Hi guys, uh, welcome back to my channel and uh, first of all I want to say thanks to all the people that subscribe to my channel, thank you so much, I'm gonna write it in Italian, grazie, uh, which means thank you, uh, thank you for supporting this channel and this project, uh, I am like really really happy to share with you guys those techniques that I'm learning during my work uh, and um, I will try to upload more video in English as well during the summer. Um, now uh, I want to remind you also to follow me on my social media, on my uh, YouTube channel, Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. But now let's talk about the subject of this video. I want to share with you this amazing technique uh, uh, that's gonna help you out a lot your rotoscoping. So uh, this technique uh, is most of all for uh, you know when you have uh, a camera movement and you need to roto something uh, and um, maybe something that is not animated or like an object or something and you can use a, a camera tracker and a project 3D. So first of all you need to set up your camera tracker and you need to adjust the number of feature you can uh, uh, change the detection uh, threshold and uh, you can put 0 0.85 and change all those uh, setting of your camera tracker and then after that like for this example I will uh, try to mask out this guy and this smoke in front of the um, of this uh, bus just because uh, um, you know probably when you're using the camera tracker uh, it's gonna get confused uh, if there are some if there is some movement in front of this bus so um, cutting off this uh, guy and this smoke is gonna help out to get more a much better track so you create the roto of the thing that you want to um, subtract from your camera tracker and then you connect the mask to your roto and uh, after that you go into your um, camera tracker setting and you change it into mask alpha and so basically your camera tracker is not going to track uh, in that area that you just wrote so it's not gonna get distracted by this movement this point they're moving okay so once that you have that once that you set up your camera tracker with all the setting uh, again you can change those setting uh, here I already did a, like uh, a camera tracker um, tutorial in Italian but there are a lot online and then once that you get all this um, uh, setting right you can start to track your camera this is a really easy movement uh, I shot this when I was working close to Times Square and uh, you know I wanted to use this footage so basically now we want to decrease the error of your camera tracker and uh, we want to get a number that is under the zero now we are about 2.71 so we're gonna check uh, all those um, uh, tracker point that we're gonna see like um, which one is the number uh, close to the object that we want to track uh, uh, that we want to roto uh, we're gonna check the max error and we try to get a number that you know we can change under our uh, camera tracker and uh, looks like we need to decrease a lot this number uh, of the max error I'm gonna try with some little change but you will see that you know it's gonna slowly uh, go down this number yeah we need to decrease it a little bit more and and then uh, you see all those tracks are gonna become red and you're gonna delete the unsolved and delete the rejected okay as you can see the number the solve error now is 1.3 so we can go a little bit further further and uh, try to delete more rejected more unsolved with one and now we should be good okay so once you get a number under the zero it's going to be okay 
for your uh, camera tracker. So now I will show you um, a little trick uh, uh, to improve your uh, camera tracker. You can actually add uh, to the uh, tracker a certain point that you're interested just because you want to grab, you want to uh, try to get as much uh, tracking point uh, in all the space of this bus. So like we have a lot in the front, a lot in the back. So we're trying to get in like, you know, as much as possible. This is just an example. So to show you how to do it when you want to add a, a track, a 2D track to your camera tracker. So you choose a point. In this case, I'm choosing this number because um, it's going to be, it will be easier for me to show you. Okay, I'm gonna uh, select this number. I'm gonna adjust the searching area and everything, and then I'm gonna track. I'm just tracking 100 frame. This footage is uh, like 300 frame long. Uh, we just need 100 frame just to show you guys. Okay, I'm gonna delete the last couple of frames. And seriously, this is like a really helpful trick. It's gonna speed up your roto, especially for like an animated, non animated object or this kind of stuff. So now let's add uh, our track to our user track. So let me zoom in. You go under user tracks on your camera tracker, you add a user track, and then you click your uh, camera tracker, and go bigger. Let's add the track again, then you select both of the track and then on the right clicking uh, uh, you, you hold shift and you drop in that small uh, sign on the right of your camera tracker all the uh, information of your tracker and as you can see we created we added a point uh, a user track to your camera tracker and after that you need to solve your camera tracker again and uh, you see the error we have a little bit more of error so we need to try to go lower again so we're gonna decrease our max error and we're gonna delete our rejected track Okay, so now we're one, we're gonna go a little bit less. Okay, so we were on a good point under the under one. So basically now we need to um uh, create a scene from your camera tracker and uh we will use just the uh, your our camera from this scene so we'll, I'll put it on the side here and then um, I already did a rough roto of um, this bus and uh, at the reference frame of uh, 30 so my reference frame is 30 and on that reference frame I will set up my frame hold so I'll import the frame hold and uh, I will put 30 on my frame hold and uh, once that I've done that I'll connect the frame hold to my camera and then I need to import a project 3D and I will and the frame hold will be my camera for my roto. So I'm projecting their roto on the frame hold of my keyframe and using that camera. So now we need to um, basically import this projection into our 3D space and we need to uh, choose one of our um, in one of our tracking point of the camera tracker um, we need to create from that point a card where we will put our projection into the space 
So this should be fine. We right click, we create a card and uh, we connect the card to our projection and then we add the uh, scan line render. We import a scan line render. Okay, and uh, we connect uh, the let me make some space. We connect the object to uh, our card and your camera to the 3D camera. And now if we click A, we can see our roto. And uh, if we play, the roto should be moving following the camera movement. As you can see, seems like it's doing a pretty good job. Then you guys with, you know, when you have time, when you, you know, you can work on it a little bit more, you can, uh, you know, definitely get a better job. And everything depends on how good is your camera tracker. So if you get a really good camera tracker, you can actually, um, you can actually have a really good roto. So now I'm gonna copy here my footage and I'm gonna press K to import the copy node. Then I'm gonna copy the alpha into my um, footage because my footage doesn't have uh, an alpha. And then I'm gonna pre-mult and I will, um, I can check my roto. And the roto seems like it's working pretty good for, you know, this quick track that I took, this quick cam camera tracker that I took. So as you can see, guys, if you have a camera movement and you need to roto some object or something that is not moving too much, you can definitely use this technique. And also, like, uh, you guys, as you can see, guys, just with one uh, uh, keyframe, we already have like a pretty good result. So thanks so much guys. This was it for this tutorial. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy. Again, I invite you to subscribe to the channel, follow me on social media and uh, see you to the next video. Thanks so much.